I am Adil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to solve polynomial inequalities using intervals and testing values in those intervals. I have already done this question with the help of a graph. You can look into that. We will kind of check our result with that graph. Okay. Now let's see how to solve it using intervals. So we'll start with the equation minus 2 times x plus 3 times x plus 1 times x minus 2 greater than 0. So the first thing is to find all the zeros. Can you tell me the reason why? It is only at the zeros that polynomial function, which is continuous, can change a sign. So sign of the polynomial function changes around its zeros. So we are testing those points whether they are positive or negative. So that's the whole idea. So we have one zero at x equals to minus three. So we have zero at x equals to minus three, x equals to minus one, and at x equals to two. So we have three zeros. Now on the xy plane, let me make a table also, and then we'll kind of, uh, I'm drawing these lines just to show uh, that these are, let us say, zeros, right? So on the xy plane, if I have these zeros here, let's say these are my zeros, then the xy plane is divided into four different intervals, right? So let me write down the intervals here. So if you see from left to right, this interval is from minus infinity to minus 3, then we have from minus 3 to minus 1, and then from minus 1 to 2, and from 2 to infinity. So three zeros means four intervals. Now the question is that during these intervals, the sign of the function always remains same, right? It only changes at zeros. That is the concept. So what we can do is, we can take some test points. So we'll take test points in the given intervals and see whether the function is positive or negative. A test point in this interval, minus infinity to minus 3, could be minus 4, minus 5. Let us write down uh, in a different ink. Let's write down this interval as minus 5. In this interval, a test point as minus 5. A test point, x value we mean, between minus 3 and minus 1 could be minus 2. Between minus 1 and 2, 0 is a good test point. 2 to infinity, let's take 3 as our test point, right? So you could take any point in that interval. Now what do we need to test? We will test each factor, whether it is positive or negative. So that's the whole idea, right? So we'll test each factor. So let's write down these factors one by one. Well, minus 2 is our first factor, so let me write down the factor minus 2 first, and then we have x plus 3, and then we have x plus 1, and then we have x minus 2, right? So these are the four factors for us. Now, as you know, minus 2, whether x value is minus or positive, it will re remain negative 2. Now, while we are testing, we are actually interested only in the sign, not in the value. So sign for minus 2 will be negative in each interval, correct? Now x plus 3, if I substitute minus 5 here, it becomes minus 2, negative sign. If I substitute negative 2 here, it becomes plus 1, sign is positive. 0 and 3 will also give us positive signs. x plus 1, substituting minus 5 gives us minus 4, negative sign. Minus 2 plus 1 is also negative, 0 plus 1 is positive, 3 plus 1 is positive x minus 2, when x is minus 5 is negative, when minus 2 it is negative, for 0 again it is negative, and then for 3 it is positive. So that is how each factor is within these intervals. Now within these intervals, how will the function be? Now what is function? Function is product of all this, right? So our function here is minus 2 times x plus 3 times x plus 1 times x minus 2. Now, how can you tell me how will the sign change? 
So let's write from left to right. If we multiply these four factors, that means negative four signs, even number of negative signs when multiplied will give us positive, right? Odd number will give us negative, even number will give us positive, odd number will give us negative. When we say that this polynomial is greater than zero, what are we looking for? We are looking for intervals where the function is positive. Is that okay? So, so we get our answer. The function is positive in these two intervals, correct? Means these two intervals and therefore that is our answer, right? So therefore that is our answer. So we can write down our answer as uh, minus infinity to minus 3 and from minus 1 to 2, right? At times we prefer to write union sign also, correct? So that becomes the solution for the given question. Now as I said in the very beginning, we'll test with the help of a sketch. Minus means, this minus means, it's the leading coefficient is negative, right side is down, right? Right side is down for a polynomial. And 3 is the degree or degree. So opposite ends. So if you sketch a polynomial, it will be kind of like this. Do you see that? Now that sketch clearly shows that the polynomial is positive in these two intervals and therefore our solution is correct. Now in case it is not specified that you need to solve using intervals or table of values or whatever, you can always use this graph and write your answer in a minute. I'm Anil Kumar. This strategy really works and saves a lot of time in your test. I hope it helps you. Thank you and all the best.